He can come in, I'm not ready yet. I'll let you know when I'm ready right now. Okay. I'm free. So Yeah, it's kind of a pain putting that one on. Hmm? That on the chair. I don't know why I'm here. I got, I got, we got time and everything. I'm just like. That could change though, like the last time. This <laughs> baby is really good. It's like a movie. Yeah, right? Well, that's a good shot. As we 
That's there. nice. And then just like, what? <laughs> That's perfect, honestly. Video is fun, right? <laughs> I said it's fun, right? So that's like an established shot of her. Look at my camera. Look at my camera. No, you just look. I'm not saying like. Okay. Yes. Okay, I can go home now. I'm done. <laughs> You're good. Oh, yeah, he's fine. enough bureau footage you can never have enough the more you get the better damn this thing is like tight so the more bureau footage you get the better because you never know what what you're gonna like and sometimes like I, I didn't see the tripod um, when I was trying to frame the shot but I did the shot and then I saw the tripod it's always better to get the stuff that you don't want in frame out while shooting rather than doing it in post because it's more harder. It's not like a picture. The video is more harder to get stuff that you don't want out of. It's not like a picture. I can just Photoshop it. I can just like, you got a pimple. I can just clone this part where there's no pimple and replace that. It's way easier in pictures because I do pictures too. But, but video is hard. So. If you can take this stuff out, go ahead and if, do it. If you're really creative, then it should be no problem. I mean, of course, like you gotta be. Oh, that's one thing too. Like, be it's, very creative. It's all about being creative. It's all about looking at doing 
taking shots that not everybody else is taking. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a horror movie. I'm coming out the classic. It's really a shower. I can give you a video. I probably have like five. Yeah. There's also some of the little first things that you have. <laughs> that one has a squeak. <laughs> to tell them to do it again if you didn't record. It's better you get it than don't get it. Right? <laughs> All right, so we're done. Group prayer or something like that? Oh, why don't we should do that? We can leave, right? That's what I heard on one of the bridesmaids. Oh, one of the bridesmaids, okay. Yeah, she told me that. Um, they're going to do prayer, so they wanted me to catch that. Okay. All right, go ahead, ladies. Let's see you spin. <laughs> Emma, spinning. Let me see you spin. It's okay. It's like, so you get like, okay. go ahead, spin. All right, go ahead, guys. One, two, three. Let's see. Good job. Okay, that's good. Perfect. I'll put that in slow motion. <laughs> that's their favorite part. I kind of want to tell him that. <laughs> All right, can you record me? I am. Go for it. All right, so I'm taking some B-roll shots for the ceremony. You always want to do it before people sit down. So I'm trying to do some B-roll shots before everybody sits down. That's a nice ice. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> ice, ice, <baby. laughs> So yeah, so you, you want to do this before the guests arrive, you know, because a lot of people, most couples always ask, oh, did you get the decorations, did you get this and that? So you always have to do those decorations before everybody comes in. And sometimes you're with the bride and the groom so much that you don't get to do these things by the time you get here. You know, we've been to weddings like that, right, Madison? Mm -hmm. Where we get there and we don't have time to do shots of the ceremony, yeah. of the reception, because everybody's already And sometimes it's a plot twist. You'll have all the time in the world, then that, that all changes. Yeah, so 
I'm getting some bureau of the ceremony, so um, I guess this is how to do ceremony bureau. So just get wide angles of the whole thing and then close ups. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And always remember the 10 second rule. Excuse me. If you don't know what the 10 second rule is, there's a video I did. It's gonna be up there. Put it up there and um, it's gonna show you 10 second rule of B row. I'm not gonna explain it here. Go to the video because that goes in depth. So, that. let me see. Shot. Let me get some shots here. By the way, this is one of the best ceremonies I've ever done. Yeah, it's this place beautiful. Looks beautiful. So now that like another good thing about getting into the ceremony early is you can see where to place your cameras. So I'm already thinking that putting a camera right here while the bride walks in or also I can bring this for B-roll while the bride is there. It's gonna be crazy. Or I can put it right here. I can put the camera right here while the bride walks in. So it's always good to um, be early because you get you get to kind of see what options you have than getting there late. All right, and we need some cold drinks so we got more ice. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a wider angle because I go to 18, I need like a 10. And buying that next week, you know, after I get some money from this wedding, I'm getting the 10 to, what is that? 10 to 18, 10 and 9. I usually do this stuff with like a slider, but I don't have time to be doing the sliding shots and all that. At this level where I'm at, I don't have time for the slider shots. <laughs> so yeah. So you're gonna get some of the words. So just like details for the ceremony. You just get like some of the words. Okay, gotcha. No, not me. I'm just oh. not you. I'm just, <laughs> talking to yeah. the people. <laughs> look, at the, look at the when you go to the ceremony. Look at the details. So like here, the details are like this right here. The words. See that? This. Decoration. In a ceremony, then you know the syrup, the reception is going to take place in the same area. They're going to move all this out and bring those tables in here. If you've done a lot of weddings like me, you should know. Oh, yeah, it's all in the same it place. Cocky, right? It sounds cocky, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but I'm just being for real, right? Yeah, you're being real. Because why would the cake be in here? They're going to move all this out. And the in here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like how they do it at the place beach. Is beautiful. They have to have like the last there. wedding at the beach, the cake was there and everything. They just started with everything.
R.I.P. tree. Uh, just wait for the, the, for the mother of the groom, or the, the, the bride, to move in our door. Then you take some detailed shots of these plates. Like, just don't drop anything. This is fine china right here. The finest. I like this big plate. I like them all actually. Look at, no, this, no. Look at this. You know they, they stuff like this from back in the days that cost like a hundred grand? This, like this um, thing right here. Because oh, I wanted to do like um, Reenactment of her getting the dress on. I'm sure you already. I did. I did all that at the house. But if you want to do that, maybe downstairs or somewhere yeah. else, feel yeah. feel free to. They're they're all dressed and just hanging out in there. So if you want to. Yeah, I was just talking there. to her mom. Um, okay. I was like, I'll give them some time since they come from outside, so they can, like just refresh up because mm -hmm. it's hot, you know. It is, yeah. And then I was just going just. Yeah. Just the ceremony starts at five and it's four oh six. So. Yeah. I think, yeah. And also after this, um, we should start setting up as well. So at least we. Of course, until if there's like any places we can go or oh, okay. or are in that. your way when with you set that. up. With that, see, know. I always say always communicate with the photographers so that way you don't get into each other's way when they're getting this going, you know. So just like um, mainly, mainly I'm mostly on um, this side, the groom side, okay. because I have a. I'm gonna have a 7 and 200 lens. That's gonna because I want to get the bright. I'm um, sorry, the groom's reaction as she walks down the aisle. Okay. So, um, so I'm not gonna be on this way. But usually, I'm on this way for if I want to get his reaction as well. I'll be okay. I'll be on this side. Okay. I don't know if uh, okay. where your second shoe is gonna be, but I'll, I'll put my tripod right here just as they walk in, so I can get them walking in. And then after the bride walks in like that, I'll move from here and I'll be here on the tripod. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna be in the corners the whole time. Okay. This corner and that corner, and you guys don't, like you can go in front, don't worry about it, you know? Cause if they, yeah, I can use the other, cause I'm gonna have like four cameras in here, so. Okay. I can always like, you know, if, if, you know. Cause when they're walking down, I normally stand here, okay, so nice. I'm not, Below them, shooting nice. upwards. Okay. Um, but so then you want to be there, and I'll be that way. I can get him too. Okay. I can just do it. So where is she going to be? Gonna She'll probably be in the back for me. So be in that yeah. Correct. Correct. Mostly of just like the um, ride walking with her dad, walking with her dad. Okay. Oh yeah. With the dress, dress. Mm -hmm. with the dress, and kind of getting them together with like the reaction of the group. Okay. Okay. Really so proud. you're going to get the. You're going to get. Her getting down and also the reaction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, more of a close up and she'll get like a further okay. shot. Okay, so I'm gonna have also like um, okay, my main three cameras. So I'll have one here, which is um, the bride's camera. So this will be zoomed up to the bride most of the time. Okay. And the other one will be zoomed up to the groom. Mm -hmm. And then that one is just gonna be like a neat angle, white angle shot. Okay. So if you like during the, during the ceremony, if you wanna come up here and stuff, you can always come up, but um, I know you want to be close for the kiss and stuff like that, or mm -hmm. for the rings and stuff, so I'm also like, for the for the kiss, I'm going to come, like, I'll walk with you. Okay. So that way, if you want to walk back, we can walk back together gotcha. and stuff. So. Okay. So that way, I'm not in your way or behind you, so. Perfect. Sounds good. Enough. So the only time I'll come, like, right here to shoot is when they're about to do the kiss. But okay. other than that... I normally stand right about where you're standing anyway because I shoot with the feet. Yeah. So, and then I follow them as they walk back. Okay, so halfway through, I tell them to kiss. Oh, halfway okay, down, so back down the aisle. They do the kiss, okay. Yep, they do the kiss and then they continue walking down. Okay. Um, if that works. Okay. So what are you going to be shooting? Like, are you going to be doing zoom? Like, I mean, it's a pretty wide... Spot. I usually just work with my 50 if I'm honest. That's what I use, obviously, because it has just the better depth of field. Okay, yeah. So yeah. So that's like what 2. I usually. Or 1. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah, yeah, 1.8 or 1.4. Nikon. Actually. Yeah. Nik By the way, Nikon is the best photography camera. Canon is good for video. Nikon is 
I see, I've seen photos from Nikon. Crazy. I appreciate that. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm ignoring. Yeah, she's a Canon, so ignore. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> the, the only thing why I like Canon is because the lenses, they got a lot of lenses and they're more affordable, you know. And Nikon is a little bit more expensive. You get what you pay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, does that work? This, this, um, this is an A7S. This was like. Um, I bought it for like eighteen hundred dollars. Okay. And compared to like cheaper, you know, it does its job, especially like reception wise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always stuck in receptions. Yeah. So I mean, I pay that much money, but my videos look way better, and I get more. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Yeah. Instead of using like a T3i or something. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So you after, <laughs> afterwards. Um, afterwards, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Okay. And then. And then um, the only time I, I shoot... I was told on the timeline, is when, 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's just drone shots. Because I'm, like, I'm sure you're going to get shots of just the bride and groom, right? Correct. So while you do that, I'll just be shooting around you. I'll just be shooting as you're posing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm, okay. I don't, I don't need to pose or anything. I might say, oh, can you guys just walk holding hands by the water or something like that. But mostly I'll just let you do your thing okay. and I'll just be filming around you. And then the only thing I'm going to need is just like some drone shots. Of course, of course. Yep. So awesome. I'll, like, that's it. Cool. I don't even, like the ceremony stuff, I don't video on that. Okay. I just video the bride and groom and that's it. Okay, awesome. Good. She's, she's, she's right out. Okay. okay. And Angela, yes. we didn't get the one with the boot ear with the mother's room. Putting the boot ear on. Okay. okay. So I'm about to get the boot ear on. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's go get that shot. All right. So, yeah. So you gotta communicate with the photographer that way. Everything is good. So I think it's about time we start setting up for the ceremony. Yeah. So that way we're not rushing because I also gotta do the sound check with the with the DJ dude. Yeah. Alright, you clap. Ceremony is going to turn into a reception. Shut down. <laughs> Shut down.